Hello everyone, Casino Duck here, your wannabe weekend woodworker. We're back with episode number five of our Hope Chest build. It's our wedding gift for Casey and Marla. I'm pretty excited about this episode because I believe we're going to be able to finish it up. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're doing right here is working on the lid. We want a thicker lid, so we're going to go ahead and laminate it. We're getting everything in position so we can start gluing it up and clamping her down. So let's get going. Well, we let this sit a couple hours to set up. Let's go ahead and take it apart. I'm gonna be doing a, another gluing here. This one right here is only 11 inches wide. Uh, we're doing that so we can send it through the carve right to put that carving on the top of the lid. But also, uh, it's kinda nice I'm gonna be able to send this through my baby sander. So let's get this apart and then we'll start gluing up the other two. Well, here's the machine that makes laminating possible for me. It's my baby drum sander. I really, really like it a lot. Well, with everything glued up and dried, uh, let's go ahead and get these things even. Okay, moving on, let's go ahead and let's square up these ends. And back to the carve right we go. This pattern right here of this peace sign turned out awesome. I was on the Carve Right forums and I posted up for some help and BJ Bethke definitely stepped up and made me an awesome pattern. So thank you so much BJ for this. It really turned out great. Uh, Casey and Marla definitely, definitely loved it. Ah yes, can you feel it guys? One of my favorite times when we're getting close to the end of the build. So let's go ahead and finish gluing up this top. Okay, let's go ahead and remove some glue and smooth out those joints. Thank you. 
just getting that trim at the top installed. Let's go ahead and take off the sharpness. Let's round these edges off. Now here is a step that would have been a lot easier if we did this before we even put the panel together. This is the dado that we're going to set that piano hinge into, but I didn't receive it uh, in time. I ordered it online and it didn't come quick enough before I started putting these pianos together. So we're kind of stuck doing it this way. Um, it, you know, it, it, it really wasn't too, too bad, you know, but man it makes you nervous because if you make a mistake on you know while it's assembled you know it's pretty much going to ruin the whole thing but luckily it did work out okay well okay yay it is finishing time everything's sanded down to 180 grit i dry fitted all the hardware and make sure everything opened and closed and fit just right I chose here to go with a Danish oil, um, the color of uh, fruit wood. Ended up putting on about three coats, but we're just going to go film one of them for you here. And my daughter coming and paying me a visit. Finishing time is pretty popular around my house. Everybody likes to come in and, and take a look. This is the one time you actually get to see what the, uh, the whole piece is going to look like. So it's pretty exciting for everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, what we all been waiting for, a completed hope chest. Yay! This build has been fun and exciting for me. I want to thank everybody who's been watching this video blog of this build, leaving all the comments and all the thumbs up. Guys, that, that really is appreciated. Here is the, uh, drawer, pool, the drawer pools that we uh, decided to finish up with there. Casey and Marla, once again, I would like to congratulate you guys. I wish y'all the best, and I hope that this whole chest uh, stays in your family for generations to come. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next build.